left foot to clearance is challenged and won by Reese McClear. Only as far as Jack Shepard, who left foot has switched it to Barry Cotter. And Josh Hawkes there with great pace keeps up with the Bardi right wing back. Yeah. He, he takes a dive there, and even Rose try, the try the old League One trick of, uh, I say, waiting for the, the fellow to come beside him and then throwing himself to the floor. It's going to be another double substitution here. It's Fabio Jalo and Yamal Younger Nathan is going to come on for well done, well done. The Bardley is going to be Andy Dallas is going to be replaced by Fabio Jallo isn't it Dallas it's going to be Herbie Kane the goal scorer is going to be off and Yamal Younger Nathan will be coming on for him Number 63 as well. You don't see many 63s in football, do you? No. You do see the occasional 41, you know, so. It's going to be a throw into Rose on that far side. Again, it's really good work from the from Rose midfield. Again, of course, Rovers have still got some really good options to freshen things up on the bench. It's a four ball, and then Morris is just offside from the... Connor Jennings flick and doors he can't believe it he's rubbing his face he thought that was going to be a, a full pass as he all black with his black cap on he's going for a new look here doors he, he is isn't he? he is it's like what is it like River Island meets the Gulf or Stone Island should I say Football, which is the amount to play by Jem Jallo, who just came on. I say, I don't buy Stone Island or Shop in River Island. No, 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 no. I can't say I can uh, connect. I can connect with those, uh, image. those comments. <laughs> Forward throw in front. Needless to say, he looks very snazzy. <laughs> From League, it's one in the air by Carter. That's a four button that almost tried to release. And the substitute Jallo is through to Joe Murphy. There's McClear. Finds Tom Davis. Back to Murphy. 68 minutes gone in this game at Oakwell. It's Barty 1, Tramu Rovers 2. Saunders. Here's Hendry. Can get the ball right and try and find Connor Jennings at the heel. Oh, that was just. It was the heel of Casper Laparta that stopped them from going forward. But here comes Regan Hendry out wide now to Hawks. Good ball, low crossing is deflected. And it's going to be easily picked up. It's yeah. going to be a corner, yeah, actually, it's, Andy. It's a corner. The goalkeeper's furious here, Ben Killer, but the line's been perfectly placed. And that's going to be a corner. To be fair to the line, he just took that extra half a step to the other side of the flag and he made sure he knew, he knew he was right. Lovely ball from Hendry out wide yes. to Hawks to Josh Hawks as well. And there's no better sight than when you do that and then you, you see your wingman, you know, on his trail. Running down there to get the collective. I'm trying to attack the Barry Murphy stand as the, uh, the Super White Army are homed. It's going to be a, an out swinging ball from the Rovers centre mid. And centre was the centre of the box is headed away by the Barnsley captain. Clear gets the ball back out to Regan Henry got a good touch on that ball Henry low crossing this time it's a dangerous ball in which is could just have, about cleared away by Casper Laparta literally could have gone anywhere venomous low cross in from Regan Henry it's going to be a foul here on the Barnsley I think it was Theo Chapman who was taken down on the far side it was referee wants a word here be leak who's probably going to get a but he is going to get a, yeah. a yellow card here that it was full back but he turned with some pace and I think it was the worst choice to bring him down there Andy no I think the te technical term is one for the team so Jake Leak and Rover's first booking of the evening Neyman out wide to Lofthouse Younger Nathan, Laparta, here's Jack Shepard looking to take Barnsley forward, it's back to him on the halfway line, 
big left-footed switch to try and find the forward run, which he almost did, and Jake Lee had to knock that ball away from Barry Cotter. It's going to be a party corner, yeah, Andy. I know why he's done it, and yeah, he's cleared his lines and everything, but just put yourself between the ball and the opposition player, and he, he has to come through you to get it. I'm just going to distract, but you know, that's, that's a conversation for another day. Well, 20 minutes to go in this Carabao Cup first round fixture. Trevor's defender corner from Charlie Winfield, sent towards the centre of the goals, headed away by Paul Lewis, who got that ball away. It's going to go out for a party no, throw. Not me, uh, clear. No, it was 22, it was Paul Lewis. Here's Jack Shepard. The parter. That's it, considering he's just made the jump up from conference to, yeah. to, to League One. Not, not League One tonight, but he's not done too bad. Here's Naaman. Full ball now to Winfield. Left side, low ball in. It's a decent touch. It's a screaming for a foul there, Tramiro. It's going to be a Barnsley corner, but all the Joe Murphy and Tom Davis are absolutely furious there, Andy. Yeah, they could. Yeah, from their angle, obviously, they could. They can see it. They've got a better angle of what's going on. I think Tom Davis may have also taken the slightest knocks there as well. He's gingerly walking towards the, the far post. The O'Connor's now gone out to warm up. Of course, Ray was allowed two more substitutions. Ball into the front post. It's headed away by Henry. Only as far as young and Nathan. It's clipped back in. It's well held by the, yeah. the goalkeeper. And Joe Murphy can slow this game down and get Rovers back into shape here's Regan Hendry four balls a really oh it's a really good ball it is uh, here's Josh Hawks left hand side chances got options in the box Josh Hawks one on one lays off edge of the box it's a good shot it's deflected deflected off the look like the midriff of Naaman shout of handball but again it was a blistering blistering attack from Rose do you remember the goal at Wimbledon away Hawks went down and just held on to help waited for Sam Taylor to arrive exactly as it did everyone's looking at Saunders he's just taking his time and then picked out Morris on the 18 yard line throw in towards Jennings McClear back to Tom Davis who's happily going to send this ball right back to to Joe Murphy 73 minutes on the clock Barnsley 1 Trappy Rovers 2 like 17 and a half minutes to go of normal time and expecting again a lot of added time with the substitutions four ball from McClear it's headed away by Shepard picked up by Morris good turn from the Rovers wing it's going to be a it's okay, okay. It's, okay. Though. it's down in that far corner Again, it was more attacking intent. Yeah. I'm sure it's something that uh, people will agree we didn't see enough of from Morris last season. He had a, a tough season last season with injuries, and well, he knows what he's, he knows that he's got quality players around him now. There's Henry. It's time for the talking to stop, isn't it? So. Leak. It was, he was hoping that the strike was a bit, a bit further yeah, forward. I do like those balls because they bend, don't they? And if, you, if, you, if you're making the correct run and you get your time and right, you, you can be through. Casper Laparta. That wide now to Kieran Lofthouse. Fabio Giallo. It's a little slip there from Laparta as he leads the cross field ball. It's one in the air by. McLean Morris gets on the end of it. Challenge there, good challenge from Harrison Naiman. Picked up again by, uh, by Paul Lewis as well, and there's a foul there from Naiman on Paul Lewis. And Rovers get a free kick midway in their own half. Fortunate. He just t- he just turned the wrong way. Realised he was in a little bit a little bit of trouble, and then he's just waited for the contact and gone down. A Rovers free kick and. To, to Hannah, Mandy and Jamie who are watching tonight and have been in touch on, on there and also to Paul Harris who's watching it's off the face there of, of 
contact. That's going to be a corner. A Rovers corner there, Andy. Yes. I must say a big welcome to Paul Harris, by the way. He won £500 on the half-time ticket to try it on Saturday. I bumped into him. He was on the door. I asked him for the five of his winners and he told me to, told me to go away. So, well done to you, man. A well, corner for Rovers is... Option Shaw one was quickly worked away by Regan Hendry as Josh Hawks joins the pack in the six yard box. It's sent in towards the far post. It's attacked. It's gone straight to Kieran Morrissey. Then of a shot from Morrissey. Shot, right? who's smashed off the back of Yamal Young and Nathan. And that ball is cleared away for a, a Rovers throw. Just, I just want the, the players to have got out of the way because it was interesting where that ball was going to go. It stayed low. A throw in which. Bruce McClay has gone to send forward. Ronald Jennings has laid it off to Morris. Couldn't quite get that ball under control. Yarny with the header forward. It's flicked now forward for Jennings to chase. He just about keeps that ball in place. And the, the corner flag, it's a bit of a, yeah. it's a big elbow on the back from Charlie Winfield. Rovers get a free kick, and that could be a yellow card here, Andy. Wembley, board and wood, took it into the corner, gets the shove in the back, gets the free kick. It's not going to be a yellow card, but it is a, a free line, kick. The line was straight on to, wasn't it? It was a free kick right in the corner, and here comes Regan. To the delight of the Rovers fans. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm not one for football chance, but I do miss the Conor Jennings chance. I'm glad it's back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The Ronnie Moore one was quite good. Half a bit and I'm laughing. <laughs> I know Ronnie really Secret loves it as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a free kick to do with his Hemsy with a, a one to the front post flicked on there. It's my, oh, I tell you what, it was Sean's with a shot. Leak with the effort from the edge of the box. It's acrobatically cleared away in the end by Harry Conter. But a big, big chance there for Rovers at the front post. It's a touch down the outside and Jennings wins back possession. Puts it right back to the, the goalkeeper there. But it was... Chance there for Harvey Saunders yeah, too, Andy. Yeah, it was going off everywhere. Every, two, two or three little pops there. Four ball now, which is being won in the air by the party. Can just about be kept in play by Cotter. Inside to younger Nathan. It's going to be a freaking to Barnsley. Taken quickly. Here's Naaman. One of the four subs that came on for Barnsley so far this evening. Here's Winfield back inside to... Jack Shepard, Casper Laparta, the loft house. Just plays a full ball for Chapman to chase. It's too much to ask of the young centre mid, and he can be as much of a gymnast if you like, Andy. You're not going to keep that ball in play. Would have done car wheels, he wouldn't have been anywhere near that. Once that's, once that's hit the deck and it skips. It's a goal kick. Sammy Rovers. Good evening to the Tramier edition. Just sent a wonderful picture of the the strike from Sam Taylor, a, a very good Twitter page of all things Tramier, the Tramier edition. Thank you for the tweet. Challenge there from Younger Nathan put the ball and play for the Rovers throw. Isn't it nice to know people are listening because you can get locked up for talking to yourself, can't you? Who said that? Me? Leak with the throw, finds Connor Jennings, comes inside and back to Leak. Jennings again, does well to Paul Lewis there, just about kept that ball in possession from the challenge there of Ollie Shaw, the forward ball from Davis is yeah. a little bit off target and now for a Rovers throw. Uh, Andy, your thoughts on um, Joe Yarny tonight, the centre-back? First time I've read it, the, the, the uh, what was it I said to you that before the kick-off, the... Uh, Virgil van Dijk look-alike. Four ball now for Saunders. He's in the box left-hand side. And options are slowly trickling forward. Here's Hawks. Overlap from Hendry. Not needed. Hawks inside to Saunders. Tries to find Hawks again. That's cleared away. Paul Lewis is challenged. And Barnes in that look to launch an attack of their own Chapman coming into the Barnsley half out wide now to Barry Carter. Barnsley looking to get back in this game with 10 minutes to go here at Oakwell. 
was back so quickly yeah. in numbers. Here's Lofthouse. Forward to... Oh, Lewis. Forward to Carter Lewis. He had more, uh, more time than he thought there, Paul oh, Lewis. Yeah. Oh, well, our fitness levels are certainly up there with them, aren't they? Naaman lays it off to Young Nathan. Shepard. Right on the halfway line. Again, as Rovers are very deep to try and stop Barnsley and they've successfully stopped Barnsley coming forward at the moment and again forcing them back into the well, King tucked in aren't we yeah. on the sides doing really well and Barnsley is struggling with 10 minutes to go to get a, a meaningful attack I'm saying that they are still in possession here's Naaman Carter say so Barnsley look now to to squeeze Rovers back towards the, their own goal. Barry Cotter, one-on-one -on -one with Leek, and Leek just puts his hands on him and takes him down, but the referee allows him to give a free kick. Again, it's a good challenge from Leek, and yes. the tackle that's off the feet of Cotter last, and that's yeah. going to be a, a goal kick to Rovers. Yeah, he's knocked it onto his shins, hasn't he? Bit of a desperate bit of a desperate tackle, but he knew what he was doing. I say, and, uh, he's got the line on the referee's uh, nod. It's going to be another substitution, the fifth substitution for Barnsley. We're going to see Ollie Shaw come off, and he's being replaced by the number 19, Aidan Marsh. So, substitution number five for Barnsley. Rovers feel the need to get some fresh legs for the dying few minutes. We've got Leo Connor, uh, Jordan Turnbull, Kane Hemmings, Charlie Jolly, and Chris Merry as well. Charlie Jolly, yeah. There's another racing snake. Taking a clatter for his, his troubles. It's going to be a Rovers free kick, and Tom Davis is going to take his time here with this one. Davis with a big long switch trying to find Kieran Morrison, does successfully on this far right hand side, one on one with on, Winfield, comes back to his left foot, good cross towards the far post jumped by Jennings, it's gone towards the far post but Jennings is penalised, it's going to be a free kick and referee says that Jennings had two hands at the back when you, when you see some of the tackles and stuff that have gone on tonight, it's blowing to that it was left down, she went down with a little bit of ease there under the jump of Connor Jennings here is Lofthouse. Carter. Ball now for Marsh, who's beaten to it by Joe Yarney. Again, he's came into that position. He's and looked like him, he's, yeah. he's looked like he's been he's played there for years. He's, he's, he's looked very comfortable next to Tom Davis. Well Tom's not gonna leave him in any doubt as to what he wants from him and where he wants him to be. Tom's quite a Solid centre back from what we've seen so far. Lofthouse. Arms looking to come forward. Here's Laporta just inside the Rovers half. Cross to Shepherd again. A lot of sideways ball tonight from Barnsley in this game. Here's Winfield. Back to Shepherd. Again, it's across to Casper Laporta. Here's Lofthouse. Trying to the afterbellers on there but Josh Hawks defending really well and Jake Leach just taking a tumble it's going to be a free kick it's going to be a free kick for obstruction Andy because Jake Leach just fell on the ball wanting a free kick the and then the didn't line move not, the line has not intervened at all and he's got a clearer picture than the referee well, the, the linesman can probably say that he didn't get touched there Jake Leach he just went down and, and learned the ball Andy in the referee's in, in, in the linesman's opinion that's all I can that's all I can imagine that he's that he's thinking but it's a, it's a free kick. It's going to be sent in by the back post. It was flicked on by Rovers player. It's going to be a corner. The fact that Davis has just given the handshake, it's Connie Jennings. Yeah, it was Fabio Giallo with the, the left-footed corner. So he was dealt with. It's a corner on the 
far side. Again, it's every Rovers player back with just over five minutes to go at Oakwell. It's a dangerous ball in. It's flicked away by Tom Davis towards the far post. It's picked up by I Shepherd. Yarny's out there along with Kieran Morris. Sent back in the box. It's headed away by Tom Davis. It's Kieran Morris again with a good touch to Harvey Saunders, who's just taken down. It's going to be a, a free kick. It's going to be a yellow card as well here, Andy. It was yes. what took him down. It was Saunders is about to just open his legs there, and he was completely taken out. Another yard, another yard away from him. He, he would have been clean through that down the right, right hand side. the home of the full of really, champions, but really four, you didn't catch them. 439 travelling Rovers fans tonight Andy go. so midweek in these times as well yeah, so that's very well done to the travelling Rovers fans who've made their way down to South Yorkshire tonight mm -hmm. hats off to them I didn't quite get it because the speaker that the Tano's man's voice comes through is directly above our head and on full blast I'm looking at it once upon a time it used to read out Dixie Dean's name <laughs> Yeah, the, the stand we're in, by the way, it's... Uh, I wouldn't want to stand your feet. For those who came to Barnsley 20 odd years ago, it's not changed. It's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not changed. The seats that are situated behind where we're sat are the old-fashioned... Get me started. Old-fashioned wooden seats. Back when people were a lot smaller than you and me, Andy. But what can you say? We can get play back what up the way. Five on Regan Henry set this ball towards the far post. Davis heads it and was sent it back in. Morris out wide again to... Davis, Davis playing right wing there, and a wonderful, wonderful little oh, forward. What a shame! Offside, because it was a great turn from the Rovers captain. Oh, he turned on a sixpence. Tell you what, he's wearing the same boots as Kieran Morris. He returned like Kieran Morris. I thought they were Norse's old boots then. Oh, they fell apart years ago, then. His loft house through use. The party. Again, Barnsley have three minutes of normal time to get back in this game. I'm expecting if the first half got seven minutes, I'm expecting more from the second half. Oh, you'll we'll probably, we'll we'll probably put two days on. Here's Chapman. Loft house on the right-hand side as Barnsley again looking to try and come forward. Younger Nathan into Laparta. Shepard again. Going forward now from Winford. One-on-one -on -one with Morris does really well to force him back to to Shepard, the parted again in the centre circle. A wide to, to Shepard. Hemmings is about to come on for Rovers. I guess that will be for Kieran Morris. The left foot of ball towards the far post. It's a switch of play for Barry Cotter on the right hand side. Leaks over there to try and stop the cross. Can he stop it? He can get a foot to it. Joe Murphy gets there and it's a touch in there first and the Barney forward. That's had a play for a Rovers goal kick, Andy. Yeah. Well done by Leak. He's had his hands full tonight. But he, but he, stuck, he's, he has stuck to his job manfully. He's indeed going to be Kieran Morris and the club captain Kane Hemmings is about to, to come on. Potentially a bit of a, a deep roll maybe, or do you think Connor Jennings will slip back into midfield? Yeah, I, think, yeah, I don't think he'll be right up there. He's obviously given up some time and uh, some minutes on the pitch and obviously his experience will come in handy. I think Conor Jennings is going to slip back into the midfield. Old Kane's gone straight up front. So it was the same formation. But good to see four of our strikers all make an appearance it's tonight. Too many options, and that's what you've got to get. I say four, five, sorry, because that's not a Saunders two. Of course, if you want to say forwards, you can include Hawks and Morris in that. Cause Forward header there from Yarny, a really good header too. Young and Nathan wins the ball in the air though. As the Barnes looks to come forward with Barry Cotter, one minute to go until we see how many. Actually, a minute to run. I'd say, I'd say probably close to nine minutes, I reckon, Andy. Here's Lofthouse, Hawks tracking back out wide now, trying to find the forward run of Jallo. Indeed, he does. One on one with Lee, tries to get a ball, it does get a ball to the far post, is flicked away. Irish and clear, it's going to be a Barnsley throw on the far side. Clear did really so well because he's facing his own goal and instead of just being happy to get a head on it, knocking back for a corner, he's had a quick look, there's that little glance and it's gone out for a throw in on the far side. Here's Jack Shepard. 
again back towards his halfway line Casper Giapata Lofthouse forward now into younger Nathan Shepard again Barnsley come on forward left hand side Whitfield tries to get across in which is challenged by Jennings and has gone to ground for a, a Barnsley throw and we're going to see now how many minutes are added on at the end of this first half Andy and we're going to have eight minutes of added time at the end of the, fir- uh, end of the second half Jennings has the ball back on the far side and can't quite get away only as far as Naaman as younger Nathan now wide to Winfield gets the ball in has deflected back out again for another Barnsley wants. throw in yeah just stop the ball coming over just had to stand Rovers uh, going into the second round here Andy of the Carabao Cup of course last season Newcastle came to Prenton Park it's headed away by Yarny only as far as Naaman out wide to Lofthouse here's Carter one on one with Leak again he's had his a really tough night against Carter this league tonight. He's done really well so far. Younger Nathan forward again to try and find Jallo. Younger Nathan forward again, find Jallo. Tom Davis as well, though, and a really good footwork for over Skipper gets the fall away. It's from Franz Beckenbauer. Is. Really, really good. And Regan Henry completes the clearance. And here's McLear really well dealt with by that Rovers defence. Four ball. Hemmings is onside. Even keep the ball and play. It skips and can't quite. It's, it's a shame. Time for a throw. It's really good vision though, to get the four ball. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's just starting to close to start to get his, his right foot attuned in, isn't he? Had to be Kane got the PA announcers very loud man of the match Andy we're going to ask you for your Rovers man of the match in a few moments so get your thinking cap on Yarny with a headed away it's kept in play though by Jallo and really good tracking back and a clip on the legs there by Paul Lewis and going to get booked here the Rovers midfielder Jallo's a little bit too fast for him yeah I, I, don't, I don't even really think the Barsley fell out the board on the control any, any given second of all that piece of play it's Lewis in the book a free kick on this right hand side which Cotter will no doubt whip in as we have six minutes to play of the eight added on so after this free kick will push you for your man of the match Andy so also be interested to hear your man of the matches if you sat at home it's at TRFC Radio send in your suggestions who was your man of the match what a free kick to defend first Cotter to send it in sends it and does towards the far post headed down towards goal it's off target and out for the Rovers goal kick Andy your man of the match exactly the same one I had on Saturday Mr Henry he's been magnificent he was in the, in the, from the first minute he was contr- controlling the play winning the ball trying to bring players in, in, into the game uh, doesn't let anybody rest he's, he's always on the goal he's got such a footballing brain as well so Regan Hendry gets Andy Doyle's I follow man of the match for this evening be interesting to hear your man of the match votes at home today. it's at TRFC Radio with your suggestions five minutes to go job not quite done just yet Cotter with the throw clearance there from Hawks Hemmings is in pursuit with Casper Chapart who plays it back to, to Ben Killip big long hoof from the bar the goalkeeper of course he's making a debut tonight after he sat for Harleypool in the summer back end by Younger Nathan out wide to Cotter He's had a lot of the ball tonight the party right wing back it's a challenge from behind there from Leak and referee's happy with that one Younger Nathan tries to play away with ball. It's not the greatest ball. It's out of play. It's a really poor ball. And Rose get up for there Andy. Probably just sums up their second half performance a little bit, doesn't it? A lot, a lot of huff and puff, but they haven't really managed to uh, come to grips with it. I think the goal came so early that's obviously taken the wind out of their sails. Yeah, we have um, a few suggestions in Andy. TRFC Joe has said either Leek, Taylor or Hendry so he's picked a third of the squad (laughs) 
I'm off the mic, Edgy. You bet. <laughs> well, full boot now, which has been collected. Almost a good touch there from from Carter. Hendry with some uh, get the ball forward, deflected. Now Hemmings is in pursuit. Torches well, that's out. It's, it's not quite kept in play by Laparte. It's good, very good. A young, play a young player watching just what Hemmings did. Just you know you're not going to get it, but you hound him, you push him, and that's what happens. You get you get them to make the mistake. So Ethan Hoyard, who's very impressed with what he's seen from Leek, and think he's a he's a fair replacement for Ethan Bristow. Yeah, I think it's a fa that's a fair shout. Same stature as well. Open Hawks towards Hemmings, he gets his head on it, gets him the end of his own head. A good touch from the Rovers club captain. He's nicked two up by, by Lofthouse. It's going to be a, a free kick, and it's good defender in the end from Lofthouse. Got himself between man and ball. Here's Killip. He bars the goalkeeper. So he has gone for that goal from Sam Taylor. I think that's enough to get the man of the match. I think he might get a few votes, Sam Taylor, tonight, to be fair. 61 minutes, he was left a very big impression on this game. Two minutes to go as Barnsley look to send this game to penalties. Don't forget if they do score, which we hope they will, to look to penalties. Crossfield ball picked up by Winfield. Cross to the far post, headed away by Tom Davis. It's flicked away again by Saunders. Again, it's Casper Laparte who sends it back to Ben Killip. Rovers again, very, very compact Rovers, and as a four ball comes in, it's a really poor ball from the Barnsley keeper, and that's going to be a, a Rovers throw with 90 seconds to go in this game. Again, the keeper all the time in the world, really, hasn't he? Well, a couple of minutes, and uh, he just needs to put his foot on the ball, doesn't he, and just knock it down the middle of the park, and it's just, you know, 80-yard ball, and he's just knocked it straight into the main stand. Some of these Barnsley fans are starting to leave the seats. They've seen enough of what they've seen tonight from... Michael Duff's side I don't believe that they can get back in this game with just over a minute to go there's younger Nathan Winfield back into to Shepherd Casper Laparte Rovers deep happy for Barnsley to have the ball it's a good ball out wide for Winfield to get the anti low ball and Winfield it's all oh, it's gone in 60 seconds to go and Barnsley have the equaliser it was Marsh who's got on the end of it there's a cross in the box and Aidan Marsh gets his toe to it and it nestled in the far post it is 2-2 two -two with 35 seconds to go Andy that is such an injustice it's cruel it is really really cruel don't be, it's not justified but you've got to keep defending you mean and for, and for once tonight we haven't stopped that cross coming in and that's what happens it, get, it gets whipped in and it's just been waiting for someone to stick a big toe out and that's literally what's happened there tell you what 2-2 two, two, 8 minutes are up and it looks like we didn't expect it to Andy but it looks like we're heading to a penalty shootout at the end of this Carabao Cup tie. Oh, joy. Looks like we're going for a repeat of last year's first round, and I must say, Rovers deserve to go through as outright winners tonight, Andy. I think so. I think so. They've been the more aggressive and, and forward-thinking of the two teams. Football players call up one more attack. The four ball towards Henry is out for a, a goal kick as we approach the 99th minute of this game. No ball, and we're expecting the full timers to come on for this free kick is taken. It'll be interesting as the season goes on just how, how many goals are scored in this those extra times a goal kick which Ben Killip's going to send deep into the Barnsley half and there's the full time whistle from the referee and Andy 2-2 at full time